gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. I like that little extra bit at the end there. It made me feel like a matinee idol. <laughs> Perhaps not. <laughs> that was a pity one clap or someone... <laughs> or someone naked sitting down in a leather suit. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, indeed. It is a great day. It is a great day for the Republicans. Uh, the, their convention tonight, the surprise speaker was Clint Eastwood. I know! <laughs> Clint Eastwood, he was like, yeah. <laughs> now, that was a big surprise. I mean, what could be more surprising than a grumpy old white man at the Republican convention? <laughs> Very sad news today as well. MTV announced the upcoming season of Jersey Shore will be the last. The uh, cast... <laughs> <laughs> Very unconvincing. Ah, ah. <laughs> the cast, though, was very emotional, crying, drowning their sorrow with binge drinking. Then they heard they were cancelled. <laughs> see what I did? You see what I did? I did a, I, yeah. that's a. That's a joke right there. I did a thing, and then I did a thing in the end. Comedy gold, boys. Comedy gold. Thanks, Jeff. It's a great day for a lot of celebrities. Uh, Forbes magazine released the highest paid celebrities list today. The entire list can be found online. What you do is you just Google famous money makers. And then you scroll past all the pictures of Prince Harry's junk and then you'll get to them. <laughs> you know, whenever I see these naked pictures of Prince Harry, which is about 15 times a day, I, uh, I think of that old sea shanty I used to sing a lot of the times. He's a... Uh, Ginger down below, me boys, ginger down below. <laughs> Do you know that? Anyway, the Forbes list. The, the Forbes list for the seventh straight year, Oprah Winfrey is number one. Her earnings last year were $43.2 gazillion. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Even Mitt Romney's like, damn, O-Dubs is a straight baller. She got more floss than the Fed, y'all. <laughs> That's how Romney talks. People don't know that about him. It's one of the most interesting things. He's like, damn, old dogs. That's a great impression. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Oprah's number one. Uh, but she's a very good person, Oprah. She's very rich, but she's very good. She's such a good person. She does good in the world. Do you know that every time Oprah passes gas, global warming goes away a little bit? <laughs> It's pure oxygen. <laughs> she also gives a lot of money to charity, and people often say to me, Craig, if you were as rich as Oprah, would you uh, do the same thing? And I'm like, yes, I would give Oprah's money away. I'd keep mine, but I'd give hers away. <laughs> now, it wouldn't surprise you I was not on the list. I am not highly paid or apparently not a celebrity. <laughs> Perhaps these things are related. <laughs> Last year, the number one on the Forbes list, uh, well, it wasn't, for, uh, it wasn't for being rich, but I was number one on, on the, the, well, did you have the thing from Forbes? Yeah, you are, yeah, world. <laughs> yes, apparent, apparently I'm hairy now. You know that Dr. Phil is on this uh, Forbes list? I am very surprised by this. I, I thought Dr. Phil's only source of income was the change that he finds in Oprah's couch. <laughs> if the heart's short on change, you can't fill up with the piggy bank of self-esteem. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. pretty good. It's not as good as my Romney, but no, it's no. got something. Do your Romney again. Damn, old ducks. <laughs> You see Ryan? Uh-huh. It's as if Romney is standing right in front exactly. of him. Exactly. It's like, it's like he's in the room. Uncanny. 
The Forbes magazine thing. Yeah, they, now this is supposed to be a serious financial magazine, Forbes, right? But they don't have access to the celebrities' financial information. So in other words, they, they made it up. <laughs> you made it up, Forbes. Shut up. <laughs> define celebrity. That's such a ridiculous... You can't quantify the, the... I mean, money, yes, but you can't say, this is more celebrity than that. Look, like, Snooki is a celebrity. Maya Angelou is a celebrity. They're not... I mean, Maya Angelou and Snooki are very different. One is a respected author whose lyricism captured the angst of a generation, and the other one's Maya Angelou. They're very different. <laughs> Anyway, right, <laughs> right now in Hollywood, self-centered jerks are flipping through Forbes, seeing who's on the list so they know who to suck up to. And that is pathetic. I do not choose my friends based on their wealth. I choose them based on their breasts. <laughs> Women too. <laughs> Forbes magazine, of course, run by the billionaire Steve Forbes, who names a magazine after himself. Who would do that? Who would do that? <laughs> Oprah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Oprah did it, and uh, uh, Steve Juggs. <laughs> Anyone else? Bob Newsweek. Bob Newsweek, yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> Sean Cat Fancy. <laughs> Craig High Times. <laughs> you know, Steve, uh, Steve Forbes, is that his name? I can forget now already, I forgot. <laughs> Is it Steve Forbes or John Forbes? It's Steve Forbes. Look, it's Forbes anyway. He once ran for president. He lasted about a week and got... So who better to judge other people's success? This is ridiculous. It's like, it's like Donald Trump judging a beauty pageant. <laughs> Which he does. Oh, yeah. He does. Do you like him? I just moved my mouth for no reason. <laughs> I'm, get, I'm getting to that age as well. You know, sometimes, like, when I stop at a traffic light, I go like this. <laughs> then I look over and I see an attractive young lady and I'm like that. Hey! <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. What am I talking about? Oh, yeah, the list. See, these lists are pointless. They're just cheap gimmicks to sell magazines. I hate these dumb lists. You know, 10 way to drive a, uh, your woman crazy in bed. It's ridiculous. There's only one way to drive a woman crazy in bed. Dutch oven. <laughs> they hate it. I love it. <laughs> this is the first... Oh. Just opened my mouth again. Oh, you opened your mouth again? I'm having an issue over here, too. Yeah, but, oh, is your mouth moving randomly? You're not yes. trying to open it? It's yeah, just I'm opening? A few problems. Yeah, I would hate if that ever happened to me. Yeah, it's very strange. Yeah. Is, that, is, it, is it really? You don't want it to happen? It's, it's fine now. It's okay. Oh, I want it to happen. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do the thing? Sure, why not? All right, then. Tonight's program is brought to you by Craig Hordes Dairyman Magazine and Jeff Popular Mechanics.